What are the best exercises for arthritis in your lower back? I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to explain the best exercises for arthritis in your lower back, plus what's even more important than doing exercises if you do have arthritis pain in your lower back. Now, the best exercises for arthritis pain in your lower back are generally exercises that go in the forward direction. And the reason for that is when you develop arthritis in your spine, you develop the arthritis between the facet joints in your spine. And when you lean backwards, those facet joints kind of pinch together. Now, if you've been in the habit for years of standing in a little bit of extension like that, where your back is arched back that way, then it can create compression of those joints and you get arthritis that develops over time. And as you're in that position where you're extended backwards, it grinds the two arthritic joint surfaces on one another and can create some pain. So the things you want to do to relieve the arthritis are going in the opposite direction, which open up the spaces between those joints. So you can do lots of different exercises that work on that forward bending position, but a few good ones are you know, doing a rocking back on all fours, where you're just sitting back towards your heels like that. And this is truly one of my favorite exercises for lower back pain, because you can stretch your hips that way, you can go into a little more bend and stretch your lower back. But if you happen to also have some knee arthritis, that may not be the best exercise for you. Now you can also do those knee bending exercises or back bending exercises where you're laying on your back and just pulling one knee up to your chest or both knees up to your chest. Now this is a little harder to do and it takes a little more abdominal control to do it. It does kind of feel like you're going into that extension. And so if you can't get really relaxed like this, it may be better off for you just to do one leg at a time, pulling your back all the way flat so that it's flat up against the table. And then doing the other side and getting your back flat all the way up against the table. That flattens out your spine without making your lower back muscles go into a muscle spasm. Now from there, then you wanna work on getting your abdominal muscles stronger so that they can support your spine in that more rounded out position. And so you do that by laying down, kind of rotating your back backwards so that you're flattening into the table and flattening your lower back out. And you wanna get really good at being able to do that and control that motion that you're keeping your back flat. Once you can do that, you can start to add movements, for example, lifting one leg and lifting the other leg with your lower back flat on the table or sliding one leg out and bringing it back then sliding the other leg out and bringing it back. Those are all helpful for developing the stability in your trunk and in your stomach muscles so that you're not compressing the joints in your lower back. And that's all great, but how does that affect you when you actually go to stand up? Well, largely, if you just do exercises for your lower back and your abdominal muscles, it's probably not gonna make a big difference in your back pain if you do have back arthritis. So you wanna be able to do that same abdominal control exercise that I just showed you while you're actually standing up. And so long term, it's great to do stretches to help stretch out your lower back muscles, which will give you a lot of quick, instant pain relief, and to work on strengthening your abdominal muscles, which will help build the base to be able to function better and to hold your back in that flex position. But if you don't have the ability to do that during your everyday tasks, then you're likely not going to improve. And so you need to be able to do that tilt and hold your spine in that position where you're not hyper arched or hyper extended like this to be able to hold your back in a neutral position as you go about your day, as you walk, as you bend, as you lift things, as you uh, are standing at the kitchen sink washing dishes. You don't want to stand washing like that. You want to keep your back in a neutral position. And you need to be able to do that throughout your day which can get really tiring. It takes a lot of endurance to be able to maintain that type of position all day long, especially if you have some tightness in your hip flexor muscles 
or if you have tightness in your back extensor muscles. If you've stood this way for a long period of time, these muscles can get really, really stiff. And so it makes it hard for you to tilt forward. And you'll probably be able to do it, especially if you bend your knees a little bit and allow your hips to flex, but it still takes a lot of effort. So what do you do to make it easier to tilt like that all day long without your back muscles tiring out? Well, often getting help from a professional, starting with some manual therapy to get things loosened up mechanically, and then learning things that you can do during your everyday life to help incorporate those movements so you build up the endurance can be really, really helpful. And if you happen to be in St. Louis, we'd be happy to help you out in my clinic more for life. Just give us a call and we'll get you scheduled for an appointment. And if you're watching this from somewhere else, I would suggest that you reach out to a physical therapist near you who specializes in helping people with arthritis in their spine so that you can get the help that you need. And regardless of where you're watching this from, if you found the tips in this video helpful, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.